My name is Jake Fogelmast. I am a uh, writer. I've written on a, a bunch of TV shows, uh, Wet Hot American Summer, uh, Difficult People, Girl Boss, and this is What's in My Bag. First things first, I found a cassette copy of um, Keep the Fire by Kenny Loggins. I think as far as an album cover goes, Kenny Loggins holding a ball of white light. It's almost like he's holding a whole world of possibilities of modern rock radio that you can enjoy around 79 or 80. And I love Columbia cassettes because they were uniform in their <laughs> design. And it was always the big red font and then the album title. So you can always have your, your Columbia cassettes organized in a certain way. I found a seven inch of uh, Josie Cotton, He Could Be The One. I was introduced to Josie Cotton the way I think uh, most uh, of us were, uh, and that was through the motion picture Valley Girl. And she also did uh, Johnny Are You Queer? And uh, why would you not want a Josie Cotton record on pink vinyl. Most of you watching this have not been to my home, but if you were to come to my home, you'd be like, yeah, that makes sense that Jake should have that. So this is cool. This is, I guess, an original Ralph Records seven inch of uh, Duck Stab by The Residents. I, for better or for worse, was one of those teenagers who was like, oh yeah, The Residents, that's something that I, I'm going to just have to live with for the rest of my life. I don't have this. And it has one of my uh, favorite resident songs, uh, Constantinople, on it. There's a great documentary about them called The Theory of Obscurity, but you gotta get a copy of Duck Stab as any American should. The box set that I was very happy that you had, um, which is the uh, Numero Group's Sharpling and Worcester, the best of the best show. Tom Sharpling is a comedy writer. John Worcester is in Super Chunk and the Mountain Goats and a zillion other bands, but they um, do this radio show and they still do it online, thebestshow.net, every Tuesday night at 9 p.m. I think this is the f my favorite thing in all of comedy. And what is the name of the band again? Uh, gas Station Dogs. The Gas Station Dogs. Yeah. That's a good name. I know. What do you mean? Like the kind of dog that's at a gas station? Yeah, it's kind of like the dog. And it could be taken several ways. It could be like the cool dog that just kind of hangs out at the gas station. Or it could be the dog that's going to rip your nuts off if you get close to it. That, that's the dog I thought it was. 16 CDs plus a USB stick with extra stuff and a bunch of uh, trinkets and postcards and stuff and a really beautiful book. And I did an interview with Sharpling and Worcester, which is in this box set. It is the best, it is the funniest. No one is funnier than Tom and John. And uh, I'm very proud to have been a part of this and I was very happy you had a copy on sale. One thing I wanted to ask you was when, when Happy Days was going strong, yeah. did people know that you were the character that it was uh, based on? It, it was kind of bad because they, they'd see Fonzie doing, doing all that weak stuff and they'd say, hey, Gorch, you didn't really do that, did you? You didn't really go save some puppies, did you? And I'd say, no, man, I whipped some chains around. Why wouldn't I get Streets of Fire on Blu-ray? You and me were going nowhere slowly. It's the other Diane Lane uh, lead singer music vehicle besides Ladies and Gentlemen of Fabulous Stains, which I'm not gonna talk about here because I've talked about it enough for a lifetime, but it is incredible. You've got uh, the director of The Warriors making a fantasy rock musical starring the guy from Eddie and the Cruisers and Rick Moranis. <laughs> the new Girl Pool album. just been cool to see how they have been embraced by 
pop culture and the music industry and stuff, but are so original and like thoughtful songwriters and, and just very young. And I just think they're a really cool band and I have not heard this yet and I'm going to listen to it today. This is a uh, Roxy Music single, Same Old Scene, which um, opens up one of my favorite movies of all time, Times Square. The credit sequence uses Roxy Music's Same Old Scene. It's one of my favorite Roxy Music songs. But I do love this song as well. This is what you call Warner Brothers back-to-back -back hits. So it's like, all right, do the strand. We all want to hear Roxy Music do the strand. Do the strand. But uh, what if we flip it over and it's also Virginia Plain? That's a good two for Tuesday. Look, if you ever have the chance to get Giorgio Moroder and David Bowie together in the same room to record a single, you say yes. Is it the best Paul Schrader movie? Probably not. Is it a great song? Yes. Is it used effectively by Quentin Tarantino and Inglorious Bastards? Very much so. See these eyes so green. I can stare for a thousand years. Just be still with me. To really what I've been through. This was a long time coming. John Waters is my favorite. He is my hero. You know, before Pink Flamingos, John Waters made multiple maniacs. Yes, folks, this isn't any cheap X-rated movie or any fifth-rate porno play. This is the show you want. Lady Divine's Cavalcade of Perversions, the sleaziest show on earth. Janice Films and Criterion uh, first did a theatrical re-release of Multiple Maniacs and then put out this Blu-ray. They cleaned it up and made it look beautiful, and it is still psychotic and shocking, probably even more so in this new cleaned up print by uh, Criterion. <laughs> oh, divine, you're still beautiful. I own a copy of Prince's Sign of the Times. As a concert film goes, you're not gonna find a better one. Incredible. No concert film is like this. Um, probably because nobody was like Prince. You got Sheila E. It's really good, and and you know, I'm gonna buy one of them Sono sound bars for no reason. This is one of my favorite movies of the last year or so, The Love Witch. So, what have you been so busy with? A man, I hope. Yes, it was a man, but it didn't work out. Sorry. Yes. It's a shame. Written and directed by Anna Biller. She shot this on 35 millimeter. She made all of the costumes. She did all of the production design. It's this incredible labor of love. I made it just the way you like it. Is there anything you don't do well? Why don't you try me sometime and find out? It's a psychological comedy about Narcissism and witchcraft? I don't want to speak on the feminism of it because I'm a straight white dude. It's not for me to speak on, but I really loved it. Husband isn't a prince, Elaine, and life isn't a fairy tale. We have to face that fact. Why? Maybe life could be a fairy tale if you pleased your husband more. This is the Blood Trilogy from Something Weird Video. Why not watch these true exploitation gore movies that uh, were such an influence to uh, John Waters? <laughs> Dog call you just ain't the best centennial anybody ever had! <laughs> There's commentary from Herschel Gordon Lewis, and you know, I don't know if they're particularly good movies or bad movies, but 9.99, you know, three movies. And I just love something weird video. They've been polluting people's minds for 30, 40 years. Thank you so much for talking with us today. Yeah, no problem. Okay, cool. And dance with my pretty little girl until the break of day. Fairly well, old Joe Clark, goodbye Betsy Brown. Fairly well, old Joe Clark, I'm gonna leave this town.